what is going on YouTube, it's your boy Dan, aka Drive. you guys, episode one of the Pokemon Melon Knight Nuzlocke. If you guys are turned up and you're a member of the Drive army, I want to see you guys show your love on that like button down below. Let's see, 1,500 likes for the kickoff of a brand new Let's Play Pokemon Melon Knight version, which is a game that was developed. It's a fan-made game. It's totally awesome. And uh, this is actually one of the few fan-made games I've actually played before, but it was so long ago, and they just released a new update about last week or so. So I'm really excited to be bringing you guys this new Let's Play. So let's jump right into things here. If you guys want to show your support, like I said, you guys know what to do on the down like button down below. We do have a question of the day. What Pokemon games are you currently playing? You can clearly see that I'm doing this now. So I think we're good to go. But I'm so excited. Melonite is a super sweet game. And like I said, I only played a little bit of it because it had just come out. And uh, there was only like one gym at the time, but they've expanded it. There's more stuff going on. And we're going to kick things off here in New Moon Island in Sinnoh. And you can see the character is actually right in front of a Darkrai. How sick is that? Patters, where you at, Patters? Where you at, dude? Oh, a Torterra. S a single battle set events in motion, they say. I'm so hyped for this Let's Play, guys. You have no idea. The graphics in this game look sick. And this game is going to be sick. And there's already a Darkrai. And Ancient Evil. Oh, boy. Whoa. Did I just catch the Darkrai? Was awakened. An Ancient Evil was awakened. Oh my god, and the music in this game is super duper epic. I'm really hyped. I know you guys are hyped for that intro. I know you guys are hyped for the new layout, the new graphics. I'm really excited for this Let's Play. This could be a lot of fun. And what I wanted to do on this one, I, I kind of got this idea. I believe Nappy does this as well. If you guys turn up super duper hard on all the episodes, we're going to give you guys something really, really cool, man. I got, I got another idea for another Let's Play coming out. Uh, in another like week and a half. I mean we got so much stuff coming out guys on this channel I'm super duper hyped and you guys should be as well. So anyway, let's kick things off here with professor Oak It looks like <coughs> Hello, sorry to keep you waiting Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak people call me the Pokemon professor before we get started I should ask you if you need any assistance if you need help. I'm certainly capable of giving it I think I can figure out the controls would you like to play a special game mode? So we're gonna do a nuzlocke a nuzlocke challenge is an optional way to play the game with a higher level of difficulty all Pokemon that faint are considered dead. Nurses will not be able to heal the fainted members of your party. Revives will fail. Also, you're only allowed to catch the first Pokemon you encounter in each location unless you already have the Pokemon. If the Pokemon's defeated or you run out of balls, there's no second chance. Once your Pokemon have fainted, the game is over. Would you like to do a Nuzlocke? Yes, we would. Nuzlocke mode is now engaged. Let's make it happen. Oh, an Eevee. This world is inhabited by wonderful creatures we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them, and all Pokemon are different and unique in their own way. We already know all this stuff, right? So let's jump right into it. But we don't know everything about Pokemon just yet. There are still many mysteries that we need to solve. Like, why was there a Darkrai at the beginning? <laughs> some Pokemon are meant to guard and protect, and some are thought of as evil. Potentially a Darkrai, I don't know. There is so much we don't know about Pokemon in this world. That's why I study it every single day, and that's why I grind the Pokemon every single day. So now we're on our way to the Zella region, which is where Melanite takes place. And uh, this, this gentleman, Professor Oak, has been there once before, but he doesn't really remember a whole lot of it. So uh, there was something about a prophecy. That's it. There was someone special. Ah, that could be us. We could be the prophecy. I can't remember. Were they a boy or a girl? Look at these sprites. Yo, the girl sprite is sick. We're going to go with the guy sprite because I'm a dude. And uh, what was his name? His name is A-Drive. Nice. So his name is A-Drive. Yes, I am the prophecy. We are destined to do great things, evidently. That's pretty awesome. Possibly even save the world. All right, I better be on my way. Prepare yourself. You're about to enter a strange, wonderful world filled with Pokemon. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. The world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Oh, my God. This is sick. Dot, dot, dot. What do we got here? Oh, my goodness. A drive, come down here for a minute. I need you to run an errand for me. All right. Let's check out our PC real quick. Withdraw item. Ooh, there's a potion. Classic. Yeah, the graphics in this game look sick. I'm not gonna lie. After playing Omicron, this is like a nice little, nice little boost up here. Alrighty. Well, this is cool. Oh, there you are. I guess you finally decided to get off your computer. I feel like that's what my parents would say to me, like legit. If you're gonna go out, remember to stay away from the forest. There's dangerous wild Pokemon in there. Oh, right. I need you to run an errand for me. Can you go see our neighbor down the street? You know the move deleter's wife? She says she has something to give me. All right. So we need to go find the move deleter's wife already. They're already 
Oh my god, Lily Town looks sick. There's a Starly on the roof. Yo, that's sick. Dude, the graphics in this game are sick. How do I run? Is there a way to run? I don't know if they tell me how to do that. The move to leader's wife. Oh, there's Professor Oak. Lots of dot dot dots. Where have I seen your face before? Could you please tell me your name? But it couldn't be. Did did you just say A drive? Could this be the one? Already? I just got here and I found the prophecy. That was easy. No matter, I apologize for taking up your time. I must be on my way now. Like, if you just found the prophecy, bro, why are you trying to walk away like that? Like, why wouldn't you want to talk to me? Like, we could have been friends. You could have guided me to save the world. But instead, you just bounced on me. There's another Starly on top of this house. This is the move to leader's house, so we gotta talk to the move to leader's wife. I think that's all we have to do. Hi, A-Drive, my grandparents are really busy right now. You should come back later. Wait, you just told me to come here, though. What the heck, man? Wait, you can't go out there, it's too dangerous! All right, well, you know what? My mom just told me I need to go talk to the move to leader's wife, and then now here I am, and they didn't want to talk to me, so let's go talk to mom again. Maybe mom will know what to do. I need you to go visit our neighbor. You know, the move to leader's wife. She said she had something to give me. Wait, I just was there, though. How does that make any sense at all? How does that make any sense at all? I guess we'll try one more time. Maybe something went wrong here. Or maybe we need to go find Professor Oak again. My grandparents are really busy right now. You should come back later. All right, well, I guess we're going to go try to find uh, Professor Oak in the south part of the town. I don't know. They didn't really give me too, too much direction. I feel like it's the first time I'm playing Pokemon again. All right, so that's, that's actually really cool. Check out this little little pond here in the backyard. That's kind of cool. And this might be a Pokemon professor's house? I don't know. Is he going to let me go by? Wow, he just lets me go by into the forest. They just let me wander into the forest to the Dusk Forest entrance? Yes. I'm starting to remember this now. This is the place. This is where Celebi lives. But there was something else. Hmm. What, what else was it? Oh, I must hurry! He's just going to book it into the forest. I guess we'll follow him into the forest. The Dusk Forest. We're not allowed to go in the grass, though. We were told by our mom, do not go in the grass. You sure that you sure are a curious one, aren't you? Don't be afraid. I mean you no harm. I mean, I'm sorry to say that I can't say the same for the Pokemon hiding in the tall grass around us. What? Whoa! Oh my god! Yo, Shiny's Shiny Ariados! Hurry, follow me into the building up ahead. We'll be safe from the Ariados and Spinarak inside. That's a shiny dude! Can we catch it? Can we catch it, please? Oh my god. Oh, you're gonna let a shiny Ariados just stand there, bro. What are you doing? Aha! Here it is. Shinies are mad rare, and he's just gonna let that happen. Sorry about that. There's a lot going on right now. How are you feeling? I guess I'm feeling all right. Well, I'm happy to hear that. There was a scary experience back there. I would guess that was your first time being attacked by wild Pokemon. Oh, forgive me, I haven't even introduced myself yet. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. Now, as much as I'd love to sit and chat, I have a lot of work to do and not a lot of time. What can I do? If this is truly the one, I certainly can't let him go back out there alone. So the fact that we might be the one, like the awesome person, that he, he's, he might be like willing to help us out here. It seems we have a bit of a predicament here. I just don't have the time to take you back to Lilytown. And I definitely can't let you go back in the forest alone. What do I do? Well, I think the obvious answer here is, Oak, you should probably give me a Pokemon. That's just, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, I know. Follow me over here, please. I happen to have this convenient stash of Pokemon sitting here right for you. That's going to work out really well. I can only think of one solution to our own little problem. I'm going to give you a Pokemon. It's traditional for a new trainer to receive a Grass, Fire, or Water-type Pokemon as their partner. Ooh, what could the starters be? Oh, I was not prepared for such an occasion, though. Fortunately, I chose to visit a few of my friends at the Zalus Pokemon League on my way here. Three of the Elite Four gave me a Pokemon as a gift. That's a really cool story, actually. You may have one of them. So, we're going to find out what types the Elite Four are based on this, and we'll see what the starter Pokemon are here. Crowagunk is the first one. Poison Fighting type. Sneasel is the second one, which is Dark and Ice. And Natu is the third one, which is Psychic and Flying. Okay, this is a tough decision here. So, I feel like the Pokemon most people would pick is Sneasel. I feel like the Pokemon the least amount of people would pick is Natu. So I'm gonna pick Croagunk. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm doing. I'm picking Croagunk. That's it. We picked it. Croagunk is on our team here. Would I like to give a nickname to Croagunk? Sure. It is a male Croagunk. I'm gonna name him Bane. I'm gonna name him Bane. 
after the guy from Batman. I don't have any other nickname ideas. I think Bane is a good nickname for Kurogung. That's what we're gonna name him. We're gonna go with it. I'm a not a good nickname or so. So you have chosen Kurogung because you're a Pokemon. Uh, your partner. Now that you have your own Pokemon, you should be able to get back to the town safely. Good luck, Adrive. I expect great things from you. you should hurry now. Your mother must be worried sick. Hmm. Alright, I need to check this trash can really quick though, because it looks like there's stuff in it. It's it says it's empty, but it's it's very clearly not. Very clearly not. Alright, how do I pull up my menu? Oh, I just figured it out. It's that button. Yo, this menu is sick, dude. Uh, let's take a look at our Pokemon really quick. We've got Bane, level 5, Toxicroak. Calm Nature, so minus attack plus special defense with dry skin. Astonish Pound, Mud Slap, so kind of an interesting moveset. Um, I think we could just hit this button here. I gotta get used to these controls again. And we're gonna go back. That's a cool menu, I like it. This game is sick. Okay, so let's go down this way. This looks like the way out. So here we are in the dark forest. This looks like an item up here. Now, I do not have Pokeballs, so an encounter on this route does not mean I would catch it, obviously. Um, so we could just ignore that part of it, but um, I might even just avoid the encounters altogether until I get Pokeballs and could come back in here. But uh, now that we have our first Pokemon, I'd imagine it's... What happened? Spinarak! What happened, Spinarak? What's going on, dude? Oh, he is not happy. He is not happy, Spinarak. What's going on with all the Spinaraks? And the Shiny Arios is back. Can I catch it, please? They don't look happy. Do I have to fight them now? The music in this game is sick. Krogunk is trying to get out of its Pokeball. Oh, I guess I'm fighting him. This isn't a good matchup. Oh, he's just going to scare him away. Don't tell me I have to fight an Ariados, dude. I'm going to lose the Nuzlocke on the first, like, two seconds here. Oh, it's level three. I think we'll be okay. Goodness. This Look at the screen on this. This is sick. Oh, I like how it slides. That's sick. All right, let's go for pound. Mud slap might be a good idea, too. Let's go for pound. Hit him with that big pound, baby. That did okay. We can't get poison, which is nice, because we are a poison type. So I think we'll be okay here. Guess we'll just keep firing off pound. Just gonna keep using poison sting. This is sick. I want to catch that shiny Arido so badly. Hit him with that pound, baby. It's gonna go for constrict. This is doing nothing to me. My speed fell. I didn't even know constrict can drop your speed, to be honest. I had no idea that even was a thing. Looks like we gotta hit him with one more pound here, but this should be a good amount of experience. This is an Arido, even though it's level three, it should give us a good amount, I would imagine. Let's see. 62. And that's, dude, I love the graphics in this game. It looks sick. The guy who made this game did a championship job. And by the way, if anyone wants to play this game, I'll link the in the description, like how you can go about, you know, downloading and stuff. It's really easy. It's not a ROM. It's really simple. So Krogog is going to follow behind me. Yes. That's like throwback to, um, you can control, hit control to toggle following and following. Oh, that's sick. Dude, tell me that doesn't look sick, guys. That is awesome. So now Krogung is going to follow us. And I think now we can go to the move deleter's wife. Oh, there's a guy. There you are. Oh, thank goodness. You're all right. Your mother has been worried sick. She said you left for the neighbor's house and never came back. Is that a Pokemon? I don't know what happened, but you should hurry back home. So this copper, I'd imagine this is like a small town and the copper is just like trying to, oh boy, what's going on? Are they all trying to find me? I'm right here. I'm sure the boy, I'm, I'm, I'm sure the boy is fine. Yes, yes, he's growing up and he can take care of himself. I don't care that A-Drive is growing up. That doesn't change him being missy. Uh, missing. Are you sure you never showed up at your house? Positive. I remember hearing some people talking outside, though. Yes, Grammy. I saw a strange old man walk into town from Route 1. You don't think? The man wouldn't have taken A-Drive. Who would do such a thing? Well, where could he have gone? All right, all right, all right. I'm right there. A-Drive must be in the forest. We need to go and find him. I sure am hungry. Hey, isn't that A-Drive right over there? Yeah. A-Drive, I'm so happy you're okay. I can't believe how irresponsible you behaved. You had me terrified. You were gonna be in so much... Is that a Pokemon? You know what? You should come inside and rest. We can discuss this later. Thank you everyone for coming over here. No problem. We are just happy A-Drive is safe. All right. Now you need to tell me what happened. Well, an old man found me. I went to the forest because I didn't know where else to go. And then I got a Pokemon. I want to be mad, but I'm just happy you didn't get hurt. You owe that man, Professor Oak, your life. You should go back there and thank him. Oh, and if you need it, I can heal your Pokemon for you. You should stay and rest for a while. I just need Pokeballs, please. They're all happy and healthy. Be careful and stay safe. All right. Me and Bane are going to go do our thing now. Let's go. Let's go party, baby. 
So she said I should go back there and talk to him, so we might as well go back into the forest and go talk to him. Is that a PC? Can we just like... Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, I don't need to do that. We could have Bane chill behind us still, but... So we're going back to the Dusk Forest right here, where the shiny Aridos is, is, is hiding. We're supposed to go back to talk to Oak, but this is his lab in the forest. Is he still in here? Huh? What? Nothing. He's gone. There are Pokemon sealed inside the machine. Well, there's a box sitting on the table. Open it? Sure. There's a letter inside. Dear A Drive, I write this in haste and I have no idea how much time I have left. I am sorry, I don't have time to explain everything to you. They are coming for me. The forest Pokemon won't be able to hold them off for long. Take the items in the box. They will help you on the coming journey that can now not be avoided. I can't be entirely sure that you are the one, but when I heard your name, I don't have the time to explain in this letter. Inside the box, there's a red computer-like device. It is called a Pokedex. Use it to automatically record any data on Pokemon you encounter. There's another device. It's called a Pokegear. You can use it to view a map of the region you're currently in, make phone calls, and a few other things. The five ball-shaped devices are called Pokeballs. Use them to catch wild Pokemon to help you on your journey. You have no idea what this is a part, what this is about, but if I'm correct, you may be the only one who could stop what is coming. Go to Novum Town. Find a lady named Alice. She should still be there. Find Alice and tell her that the peace has been broken once again. She will know what it means. Hopefully, she remembers more than I do. I came here on a strange hunch I got, and it's all slowly coming back to me. It's only fair I tell you since I'm asking so much of you. Letter seems to cut off there, and I'm gonna get the Pokedex. It looks like we're gonna get the Pokedex, the Poke Gear, and also five Pokeballs to start our journey here from Professor Oak, who has seemingly disappeared. But we have to go to Novum Town now to talk to Alice, whoever that is. But Alice seems to have an idea of what needs to happen. I don't think we need to go in there. So Alice seems to have an idea of what needs to happen right now. But this is a little bit funky. So we can actually catch our first Pokemon here too in the Dusk Forest. So as per the Nuzlocke rules, the first Pokemon we encounter here, we will be able to catch and add to our team if there's even Pokemon in this forest that show up. I'm not sure. We'll give it another second here to see if anything shows up. We'll get our first party member to join Bane here if we get lucky. I don't know if anything shows up. Oh. First encounter of the game of the Nuzlocke is a Wurmple, female Wurmple, baby. All right. Well, it certainly falls in line with the rest of our playthroughs. Let's go for the Astonish, maybe get a flinch. So we're gonna get a Wurmple to catch. I respect it. I did a lot. Female Wurmple. Well, I don't know what to name this thing. I mean, typically I name my purple Wurmples, as you see here. I name them Amethyst, but this is a, this is a, Female Red Wurmple, it's not shiny. So I'm thinking we should just name it Ruby if we catch it, right? I mean, might as well just go with it. Go with the theme, right? See if we can catch it first of all. I don't want to attack it again because I don't want to risk knocking it out. And we're going to add it to our team, not bad. So Wurmple was caught. Not too shabby at all. It's unfortunate that you can't tell whether it's going to be dust stocks or a beautifly yet, but it sticks to tree branches and eats leaves. The thread it spits from its mouth, which slowly become gooey when it touches the air, slows the movement of... I don't know how to read the rest, but... Would you like to give a nickname to Wormpole? Yes. I'm going to say Ruby is a cool nickname because it is a female. And I don't know if we can necessarily name an Amethyst because it's not shiny. So we'll go with Ruby this time. Ruby's a, a, a decent name. Let's take a look at our Ruby, which we just added to the team. Level 3, 16 HP, Hardy Nature, which is neutral, and of course Shield Dust, so not too bad, not too bad. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. This menu system is sick. So sick. Okay, so now we need to talk to our mom again, probably heal up, and then head to Novum Town, I guess. I guess that's what we do. Um, I, there's gotta be a way to run. Let me see if I can figure out how to run really quick. Oh, that's how I just switched the Pokemon. That was cool. Hey, drive your back. Did you talk with the professor? I did. So he sent you a letter with instructions. Do you plan on following? Why do I bother asking? Of course you do. You're growing up so fast. I guess I can't stop you. In fact, I give you my blessing. Go on an adventure. Do something for this world. Wow, there's a cool mom. Oh, that's right. I have something for you. The running shoes. Thank you. They come with instructions. Hold down Z to run faster than before. S to toggle running and walking. That's pretty handy. Uh, be safe, and in case you didn't know, Novum Town is just through Route Run 1. Remember to come visit me. So it looks like I can actually change the Pokemon here. And I could run like this and toggle running. So we might as well just always run, I suppose. Let's go in. Oh, can I not go in here? It's locked. No one's answering. All right, well, we could just sprint around because we're, we're clearly a marathon runner. What's up here? Oh, my God. Scyther, use cut. 
Why won't it work? That's sick though. That is so sick. That just got me super hyped. That just got me super hyped. All right, I guess we're going to route one here. Here is route one. We just jump right into things. First Pokemon we encounter on route one, we can add to our team, so we might as well just do that right away. See what it's gonna be. There's some low tads up there too. All right, first Pokemon is gonna be a Zigzagoon. Ugh. Talk about anticlimactic. <laughs> we're gonna add the Zigzagoon to our team here. Guess we'll just hit it with the Mud Slap first. Maybe it'll miss. I never healed up either. We might have to go do that after, after the Zigzagoon. Man, Zigzagoon, female Zigzagoon. All right, all right. Hopefully it has pickup. If it has pickup, then that's at least better, you know? Because if you could get like random items, rare candies, Pokeballs, things like that, it could be pretty useful. He's gonna just keep missing. He's got, he doesn't have any glasses. I hope this isn't gonna be a theme for this guy anyway, when he, we add him to our team. Another mud slap. That did nothing. That did, that was really low, but we'll be able to catch him here, I think. He's gonna go for the growl. He doesn't miss that. But Bane is just holding it down right now. We're not even stressed. Not even stressed. Let's go catch this thing. Might as well. Because we're going to want to add everything to our team that we can. So, let's throw a Pokeball at this thing. And we hopefully will catch this thing. And for me, I always like to nickname my Zigzagoon's Bandito. Uh, after the first Zigzagoon we had in our Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. So, I feel like in tribute to that, because I'm all about sticking with themes here. This is going to be Bandita. Which, I don't know if that's actually a word. But we're going to name it Bandita. Bandita. I just hope that's not like a bad, bad word. Let's Google it really quick and see. Cause I feel like that would be very awkward if I did that. Cause I doubt there's a name raider anywhere nearby. Let's check my Pokedex phone here. Check the Pokedex and see. Uh, so it is, it looks like it's actually a thing. And it is Italian. It's the fem uh, feminine singular of bandito. So I guess that's cool. What does Bandito mean? It's an outlaw. Perfect. So Bandita is the perfect nickname. It works perfectly. I just wanted to double check. All right, let's run back really quick. Let's heal up because before I adventure further, I want to make sure that our team is at fighting fit shape to be able to take on this gym leader, or not the gym leader, but the route because there's some trainers. It looks like that lady wanted to battle us. I mean, it, it looks like it could get hectic. So happy and healthy. Be careful and stay safe. Okay. So I think I could just use the hotkey here to switch to Bandita. Who's chilling in our party right now, looking cute as ever. This is, I love when the Pokemon follow you guys. I really do. I think it's so sick. All right, looks like we're getting another random encounter here. And it's going to be a Starly. We could have had a Starly. We get Bendita instead. That's all right. That's all right. Not too bad. Let's see if I can knock this thing out. We got Tackle and Growl. So, let's see how much Tackle will do. Let's see how much this does. I'm curious. Wow. Yo, that Stab Tackle coming in hot. The character, the sprite models in this game look sick. I'm so hyped. They like redid the whole interface for this game, it looks like. I mean, this looks sick. And it looks like we're, we should be able to still knock out the Starly here with one more tackle. And Bandito, I'm hoping it has pickup. We gotta check if it has pickup after this. That is going to almost knock it out. It's gonna hit us with a tackle. I'm sure we'll be able to take this, no problem. <gasps> Whew. I'm assuming we're still faster. Yeah, we're fine. That was risky, but you gotta, you gotta take some chances there. That did a lot. Jeez. 30 experience, not enough to level up. I love that experience bar. All right, let me look at let me look at Bendita here and see what she's working with. Okay, so it has mild nature, hates to lose. It has gluttony, so early berry use, plus special attack, minus defense. That's not good, but I think we can make it work, obviously. And let's do it, man. Let's keep it rolling. There's a leaf stone over there. Oh my god, they make it so the items are like... The actual items. When you meet eyes with a trainer, you must battle. All right, let's see what she's working with. Oh my goodness. Last Amy wants to battle. She's gonna send out a Starly, so we do need to switch out. We definitely can't stay in based on the damage from the last Starly we just faced. Because we have a bad defense stat, so. Uh, let's go into, I would imagine this thing doesn't have any fly moves. Let's go into Bane. If he's got fly moves, that could be a, a bit problematic, a bit problematic, but we'll see how this goes. I do think Bane. Please use tackle. That did uh, a little bit. That did a little bit. Let's hit the cancel button here. Let's see. I think if I could just, I just hit pound. I think we'll be fine. We could probably knock it out with a few pounds. I would imagine. Yeah, it looks like with the growl, maybe three, maybe four. Shouldn't be too bad though. And eh, maybe one more. Maybe one more. It's gonna be close. That's doing a lot. That's doing a lot. That's between six and five and six damage, it looks like. Let's hope this knocks this thing out. It does. Good. 
I don't know if that's gonna get uh, Bendita. Bendita should level up. Yeah, Bendita goes to level four. We're gonna get a little bit of experience, and she still has another Pokemon. So I guess I'll just keep Bane out here against the Zigzagoon. Level five though. We're gonna go for Mud Slap. I gotta make sure this thing can't hit me. It's a little scary. Level five. My, my Pokemon's only level six, dude. He's gonna make use Growl again. Well, luckily for us, Mud Slap is a special move, so we could just keep going for Mud Slap right now. It does nothing. And he keeps using Growl. I need a critical hit, please. Come on, Bane. Mud Slap. Maybe I should switch into Ruby. I don't know. I'm debating. I feel like Ruby could probably take a hit. Let's go for like a pound first and then... No, let's do one more Mud Slap and then I'll probably go into Ruby to try to spread the experience around a little bit. I think Ruby... Ah, that's the thing. I'm just a little worried. I don't know if I could take a tackle. Let's see how much this tackle does to me. That did a lot. That did a lot. Right, let's go for one more Mud Slap. Let's stay in here. It's too risky. It's too risky to switch out right now. Alright, we just knocked it out. Good. That was a good roll. 64. That's going to put us up to level 7. Almost up to level 8, actually. That did a lot. Alright. So we took down the first trainer. We actually got to get some Oran Berries as well, so we can pick those bad boys. Throw them on our team. I like it. So return to its soft and loomy state. So actually, the best part is Bandita loves Oran Berries because it's going to heal her up halfway through. Because uh, it does have the gluttony ability, so you don't have to wait till you're at 25% or whatever. It'll actually work at 50%, which could be really useful if we're able to find some cool berries later on, like Salak Berries or something like that. Um, I don't know if, what the likelihood of that happening is. He's, oh my, I, I just hopped on these things! That's sick. That is sick. I don't know which way we're supposed to go. There's a guy with his low tad up here, so we're gonna find out in a second. Another Starly, level two. Probably just run from this guy. That was sick that we just hopped on those little stones. Can we get away? Alright, we got away safely. This guy's got a low tad, it looks like. Is he gonna battle us? Oh, I guess so. I am the best trainer on this route! With my low tad. Alright, let's see what he's got. Youngster Clayton wants to battle. He's gonna send out his low tad. Level six! Oh boy. That's not good, guys. Can I take one hit, do I think? Let's try it. I know he's probably got astonish and maybe absorb. Absorb. How much will this do? Don't kill me, please. Okay, that did three. That did only did three. I was so much worried that I was going to do way more, but it's okay. It's going to go for Growl. So I'm thinking about going into... Well, so here's the thing. I mean... I think... Hold on. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's go to... Let's go to Bane, because Bane can take the the Absorbs. I, I resist it, because I'm Poison type, so I can eat up those Absorbs like no problem. So let's do that. It's gonna go for Growl. That's fine. I can just I can still go for Pound, and we should be able to knock this thing out, no problem. Oh, hit the wrong button again. Level six, dude. That's like pretty powerful. Alrighty. I don't know what I signed up for by doing a Nuzlocke of this game, to be honest. I don't know what I signed up for. <laughs> I think a couple more pounds. As long as he doesn't Growl. Actually, I'd probably prefer him to Growl instead of Absorb, just because it's annoying, but. Astonish! Okay, we eat that up. We eat that up. Good job, Bane! Taking down the low tad. I just can't get over how awesome the interface is of these battles. It looks sick. Bendita learned Tail Whip! And Bane grows to level 8 and wants to learn Taunt. Yo, that's actually pretty sick. It's actually pretty sick he learned Taunt. Alright, what's down here? Here's his little low tad. Tad! Oh, we're in Novum Town already. We already made it to Novum Town. Um, oh, I guess the, here's, here's something happening. Hello there! I don't think I've seen your face before. You seem like a new trainer. My name's Caitlin. It's nice to meet you. Why don't you let me show you around town? I guess we're doing a tour. This building with a red roof is called the Pokemon Center, or Poke Center for short. Inside you can heal, inside you can heal your Pokemon to full health. You can also ac access the Pokemon Storage Center, uh, where you can change the Pokemon in your party. So she's giving us the tour, the standard, standard town tour. This is my house. I live here with my mom and my brother. Right over here is the Relic Cave. There are some special markings and symbols inside. I really, I never really understood them, though. There's some Geodudes bouncing about up top there, too. This building with the blue roof is the Pokemart. You can buy all sorts of supplies inside. Right now, they won't offer you much to buy. Don't worry, though. As you become a better trainer and receive gym badges, they'll offer you more things. 
Uh, and just down the road is Alice's house. Alice is a really good Pokemon trainer. My mom says she was good friends with her dad, or with my dad. But I guess this girl's dad isn't around. Oh, you came to see Alice, and you came at a good time. She's almost never here. Actually, my brother's inside there right now. Caitlin told you her brother's name. Well, it was nice meeting you. Bye. So Caitlin's gonna get the heck out of here, but she just give it. She did just give us a pretty useful tour. I think it makes sense for us to head into this Pokemon Center here really quick. Heal up the squad. Yo, Chansey's chilling at the counter. I'm excited to explore Novum Town, but I'm I'm still actually I kind of want to head back to the previous route really quick and just kind of see what was going on the other direction there, just for completion completionistness. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but let's just double back really quick. Even though I don't like to do this, because it looks like there's stuff going on over there as well to the other side that we didn't go. And I just kind of want to see what's going on over there. And there's a Ralts! We could have had our Ralts, but we got Bandita instead! I'm so sorry. I might just knock this thing out for the experience, though, just because it's... He's got Trace, too. He should only have Teleport or something, right? Teleport... Growl, maybe? Oh my goodness, the damage on that. Might as well get the experience, though, from the Ralts. It's probably going to be... That would have been so sick to have Ralts on our team. Oh my god. Almost knocked it out, but I think it only has Growl. Unfortunately, because of the Nuzlocke rules, as it mentioned at the beginning of the game, you are only able to catch the first Pokemon you encounter on each route, and if you fail that Pokemon, you don't get a capture for that route. So, um, definitely something to keep in mind, but it's you're kind of playing, you're kind of playing with luck. These little rocks are cool. I'm digging it. Alright, let's check what's over here really quick. There's another trainer. It looks like they just keep on keep on going. Oh. Hi there, I work at the Pokemon in Novatown. Here, have a free sample. Nice little potion action. All right, let's keep it rolling. This guy's, oh my God, so many trainers and stuff. Let's take on this trainer here, I guess, might as well. Do you like shorts? They're comfy and easy to wear. See that coming a mile away. All right, what do you got? He's got a Zigzagoon, level five. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how Bandita can handle the Zigzagoon here. I think Bandita, our level five Bandita could probably handle the Zigzagoon. We'll see how it goes. We are actually faster too, so we're gonna hit him with a big tackle here. That does so much, dude. Stab tackle is no joke. It does so much damage. It does so much damage. Let's keep rolling here. Keep hitting him with these tackles. Yeah, we're gonna be able to not sing out. He's not even gonna get any damage on us because the AI in this game clearly already is trying to... I never understood that. Just tackle me already. I'll take it. I don't know if that's gonna push us to level 6, but that'd be sweet if it did. Yeah, it does. Nice. Level 6 already. And we're gonna be youngster Eric. How could you win without wearing shorts? It's cool that the, the trainers have their Pokemon right next to him. Ah, so there's a Pokeball right here. Nice. So we're going to pick up the Pokeball so we can actually use this to catch another Pokemon. And I think that's going to be it, guys. First episode of Pokemon Melanite Nuzlocke, guys. I hope you guys were super duper stoked. And there's the low tad that that other kid had. Uh, if you guys are super hyped on this playthrough, I need you guys to show your love on that like button down below. Let's see if we can hit that 1,500 like goal, as I said. And we're going to try to grind out this series. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Um, I'm really excited to play this. If you guys want to play it alongside me, you guys are welcome to do that as well. Like I said, the link to the Reddit is, uh, is in the description, so feel free to check that out. It's pretty easy to install. It's a program by itself. I don't think it works for Mac, though, but it is a program you know, by itself, so you don't need to worry about downloading an emulator or any of that stuff. And you can clearly see how sick the interface is, so I'm really excited to jump right into the storyline here, and I'm really excited to see what happens with all this cool stuff. We saw the Dark Rise scene, we saw all sorts of cool stuff. I don't know. Don't forget our question of the day. What Pokemon games are you guys currently playing? I'm really curious because Oras has been out for a while. I'm curious what you guys have going on. And uh, that's gonna be it for me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A Drive. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.